All right, what's up guys? Just wanted to do a very quick video on how to put your Tesla in service mode. I'm in a 2022 Model 3 Performance. As you'll notice, there is no odometer, there's nothing. So first thing you wanna do, you wanna hit right there, that car icon on the very bottom. That'll always be there. And then go down to software, boom. And this is where you'll have the VIN number, this will this is where you have your mileage. I had this car less than a year, already drove it 22,892 miles. So to put it in service mode, you put this, a lot of the Teslas won't have this dual motor. So just click under it, because this is a Model 3 Performance, and then let go. And then you just type in service. S-E-R-D-I-C-E. -E. Boom. And then you just push enable put it in service mode. If you're watching this video, more than likely you are a technician. Maybe you just got done doing alignment and you're getting some kind of error. But if you're servicing your car, you want to put it in service mode because if you are a technician or a shop owner or both, then your customers are probably watching you working on their car while it's at your shop, which is not really good. Um, so you get all this here. So this is service mode. Um, Let's see, let's go to battery, driver assist, you got all kinds of stuff, high voltage. You know, you can do like a high voltage test and things like that. I got alignment? Wow, okay. All right, that's pretty cool. But the reason why I wanted to show you this is you can actually reset the steering angle sensor on this vehicle without taking it to the dealership or having toolbox. So if you're getting your car aligned at Firestone or wherever, you know, they might not know this. And if your alignment is bad and then they correct it, then you're gonna get an error on the steering angle offset being off. So in order to do it, you go down to the very bottom here and then you just put clear EPA S 3P S angle, angle offset. You start it, now you're gonna notice something. It's gonna say, Gateway state locked to authorize fully turn up on the turn stock, break and key for 10 seconds. All right. The key is this card right here. Okay. This card goes here, right there. All right. So they want us to break. Okay. You guys know where the brake pedal is. This is a stop right here to shift gears and everything. And then we just push it for 10 seconds. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now let's see if we can clear it. Okay, it's still locked. All right. You know what? This might be my wife's key because we have two Teslas. I swear it works, guys. I've done it before. Okay, yeah. All right, well, let me just say this. Doing this, you just hold the brake down, put the key right here, this is where it goes. I mean, 100% this is where it goes. Right there, sorry, my coffee stain. I'll try one more time. Two, three. Okay, yeah, that's my wife's key. Sorry, we got two Teslas, and I didn't realize I had my wife's key because uh, Tesla owners, we don't carry keys around because everything's on your phone. It's Bluetooth. So, sorry about that, but I swear to God it works because I've done it before. You can calibrate and reset all this stuff, and you can do that after an alignment. Um, just one thing, if you are not a shop owner or technician or whatever, or you're taking it to Firestone or AAA and they're charging you like 89 bucks for an alignment or maybe like 60 bucks for alignment. Um, I can almost guarantee you they're not doing it the right way. You have to take all this trim covers off um, under the front and then under the car. And you're supposed to have like in the seat, like 150 
pounds of sandbags here, 150 pounds of weight in the driver's side, and then um, you have a lot of adjustments to make, and it's a lot of work. So it's if they do do it for 89 bucks, they might do it one time because they didn't know, or they're probably not going to do it right. They're not going to know to reset the steering angle sensor. Um, so just be aware. You know, we're going to charge 189. We're going to go into these full time and hit these cars pretty hard. So stay tuned.